Designing spaces is always on the forefront of remodeling projects. Now today we take a look at kitchen remodeling from concept to completion. Here's Kelly Lightborn with the story. The thought of a kitchen remodeling project can be overwhelming. Not only are there practical considerations, there are so many style options to choose from as well. You know you want it to look its best, but you also want it to perform all the duties of a fully functional kitchen. So where do you start? Well, Designing Spaces is here to help. With Connie Edwards, a certified kitchen and bath expert with 25 years of design experience. She's also the director of design at Waypoint Living Spaces. You know, Connie, it's so great to have you on this show. Thanks for having me, Kelly. You know, so now more than ever, homeowners are looking at, you know, a remodeling project as an easy way to upgrade their current living standards. And of course, the kitchen is just natural for this kind of a project, but it can be a bit intimidating. So where do you start? It is a complicated process, Kelly. But the first thing I tell people to do is go through magazines, tear out pages of things that you really like, the look that just kind of strikes you. And then this is the next place you need to go. It's a dealership. Now that's a great idea because it seems to me that something could easily go wrong, especially when you're dealing with cost estimations. So do you think it's a good idea to bring in a designer from the very beginning? I do. They're going to be your guide through the process. Okay, and how do you even find a designer that kind of fits your style? I think you ought to ask your friends and find out who did a good job for them and then go talk to them and see if you make a connection. Because that's the most important part, but then of course there's the budget. So how does a designer deal with a budget that's been set by the homeowner? It is an expensive project, but if the homeowner is frank with the designer, they're going to work with you, they're going to tell you where you can save and where you can splurge to get the project you really want. And they say design is in the details. So how important is, is it to pick something like, you know, cabinet hardware? It's very important. I think cabinetry hardware is like the jewelry on a dress. You could actually change the look of a cabinet style by putting different hardware on it. So give it some real thought. And what do people typically overlook? I think people miscalculate just how much space it takes to put in an island. You have to have at least 42 inches of walk space between the other cabinets mm -hmm and the island and if the other side of the island is a blank wall you need at least 36 inches there it takes a lot of space to fit in an island but a designer can help you with that too see and people don't really think about stuff like no, that. No, they just want an island right. now here's the most important question what is the hottest trends today kind of a cleaner simpler look not as fussy and in finishes it's either a real dark cherry or maple or it's a painted finish white or off-white it's kind of two different choices but that's what's hot today really that's a good tip so What's the hottest trend out there? Oh my, just making a kitchen look personally wonderful for your home. Okay. Fits the space, fits your personality, has just a little uniqueness. So Connie, you're already beginning to put our mind at ease, but what could be better than to actually see a newly remodeled kitchen in a home? Coming up, we'll meet another designer and see how one home was reborn to fulfill the homeowner's wishes. That just ahead on Designing Spaces. Doug, obviously this is absolutely beautiful. So what did it take to actually capture the homeowner's uh, vision? Around was that we wanted to keep the appliances where they originally were. This is kind of important, especially if you're trying to contain project costs. Mm -hmm. Another opportunity that we had was the homeowner wanted to remove one of the soffits from one side of the kitchen. This allowed us to use taller cabinetry, uh, staggered height designs and mm -hmm. the third thing was we wanted to improve the lighting in the kitchen. So it sounds like there's a lot more to lighting than just throwing up a few fluorescent lights overhead. Oh much more today. We want to be energy efficient that's for sure but there are actually three layers of lighting that you want to have considered. One is overall general illumination and part of that can be daylight. Here we have recessed cam lights in the ceiling. You also want task lighting and in this case we have under cabinet lights hidden kind of behind some beautiful molding on the cabinetry and that lighting kind of just bathes the countertop in beautiful work lighting and the last kind of lighting is accent lighting 
And here at this beautiful home, we have some decorative lights hanging over the snack bar. I would say it absolutely is beautiful. So what's a realistic time frame for a kitchen remodel? Well, this was a really special project. The homeowners were fantastic. Our guys only took a day or two to install all the cabinetry. In some parts of the country, it may take up to three weeks or a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Cabinets from Waypoint Living Spaces takes about four weeks from the time the order is placed. But remember, there's a lot of work that happens before you get to the point of placing the order. I'm saying it's definitely worth the wait because they are absolutely beautiful. So let me ask you, Doug, as the designer, what are the highlights in this kitchen? Well, Kelly, one of the most important things was, of course, by removing those soffits, we were able to use taller cabinets. We also had a multi-piece crown molding assembly, which looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's a great way to disguise an irregular ceiling. Another thing which is an absolute must-have is roll-out trays. Makes accessing the under-cabinet space even easier. And it's definitely worth the wait. Now, you guys have given us a lot of information about kitchen remodeling, but I think it's time to actually see what the homeowners think. We love our new kitchen remodel. It's everything that we had hoped for. It's all the planning that's been, that's been put into finalization. The process was very easy for us. Um, the designers helped and they were just very meticulous about every detail. And one of my favorite parts is the rollouts. It's very easy to get to the dishes and hard to reach items on the lower shelves. And the crown molding is one of my favorite pieces. Best part of our new kitchen is it's finished. I love it. So it definitely looks like the homeowners are happy. And Designing Spaces would like to thank the both of you for your insight. And Connie, is there a website our viewers can check out? Yes, there is. They could go to waypointlivingspaces.com, and there they'll find an array of beautiful room scenes and accessories. And while they're there, they can check out my blog. It's called Connie's Corner, and there's tips and design trends and beautiful projects, and I post once a week. Well, it sounds like it's a great place to start. Thanks again. You can also go to designingspaces.tv to find that link or click on our video to watch this part of the show again. All right, I don't know about you, David, but my house could use everything we saw in today's show. All right, well, let's see. We got the kitchen remodel. We got mm -hmm. state-of-the-art insulation. We right. have amazing home automation. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, being we covered everything, I think it's a good time to say goodbye. You're right. We are out of time, but guess what? We have more great subjects for next time, so be sure to be right here. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.